fingers crossed this should be the right way round. I was recording, I'm getting you round on side and I don't want you doing it sideways. So let me refresh my page and say good morning on this beautiful Wednesday sunny morning. I'm just, excuse my arm, I'm just making sure I can see you all. Let's make sure the camera's round the right way this time. Uh, he's just catching up with me. I think this is the one I'm with you now. I've got Heather, Katie, Margaret, Joe. Yeah, I've got you all round the right way now. That's brilliant. I can see you all. Susan's joined us. Hi, Susan. Rachel. Lovely. Getting you all on board. Jean. You got the right place, Jean. Catherine. Lovely. I've got you all here. That's great. Oh, you're all popping up. Yes, that is better, Julie. I tried it before. I had a few technical hitch, ladies. I was, Hi, Diane. Hi, Carol. I was putting my camera, my phone up, and it kept so, showing it sideways. So that's why I stopped. So hopefully now you should all see me um, landscape which is what I want because we want to, you to be able to see as much as possible. Now, I might have to tilt my camera. I'm just trying to see if you can see my... If I put my hands here at the bottom, because I've got lots of people coming on board. Kate is here. I think... Oh, Kerry's here. Kerry, are you from the States? I think you are, aren't you? Barbara's here. Carol's here. Diane's here. She's going to catch up later. Not a problem at all. Jenny's here, Christine's here. If you can't get to watch this fully and craft along with me, not a problem. The video is live, so it will be here on my Facebook page. And I will also upload it onto my YouTube channel after this. Right, you can see my hands. I think I'm going to have to tilt the cam my phone slightly. Okay. Right, good morning, ladies. Hope you're all keeping well. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Joe. What's Joe saying? You've got a massive delay. Totally unprepared, Matthew rang. Well, that's nice that the boys are ringing you up. Don't worry, Joe. We can catch up as we're going along. I'm just waiting for everybody to come on board. So gather your supplies, Joe. We've got Ellen on board now as well. Yes, Diane, you can see the video later. So hopefully a lot of you have seen my video from yesterday telling you what sort of supplies you're going to need. But let's start off with the basics, OK, because there's no point in rushing ahead. We've got a nice hour. Let's enjoy it. So I've got my punches here for put, doing my title. That's what I've chosen to do. I showed you a little example of that yesterday, just a way you could do it. But like a lot of you, I've been going through my crafty stash yesterday afternoon. And look what I found. I found these. This is a brand new packet of letters. Morning, Anne. Morning, Ellen. There's another Jean as well. Morning, Jean. This is Jean's. This is Jean Robinson. It's the first time she's watched me. That is fantastic. If you just want to watch in and join with the chat, Maeve's here, ladies. So you can all say hello to Maeve. Hi, Maeve. Um, Lynn's here. Now, Lynn, I think you're from abroad as well, aren't you? Anyway. Just put a comment of where you're watching from, because it'd be lovely to see where you're all watching from. Anyway, I sorted through my crafty stash, because you know I spoke about this big box. Let me bring it up. This box, I bet you've all got one like this, with all these stickers and letters. Heather's here. All these bits here, look. I've got a big box like this. And you get things in kits, and we buy things at craft... Um, shows and things online and we use them for one title and then we just pop them in this box we never use them well after having our little chat on monday about what we could use for letters i had a little sift through my box oh lynn's from queensland australia what time of day is it down there lynn or oh, it must be very late at night if not can't remember but yes, I found these stickers, brand new, never used. So it's surprising what you find in your crafty stash when you need something. So this is what I've got. I've got a few more of you coming on board. That's great. We're nearly up to 30. 
Oh, we've got Germany. Christine's from Germany. So I'm going to use those for my lettering. I sorted out some foil. Now, who has got some foil? Who managed to sort of go through their crafty stash and find foil? Thumbs up if you've got foil. So I know what I'm doing. Oh, we've got a delay. What's going on there? Oh, we're back. The internet shouldn't play out this morning. I've told my husband I'm doing a live. So thumbs up for foil. Yeah. So I sorted out some colours that would actually go with my papers. Okay, so I've sorted those out. I said to you get, gather a big die. Donna's here as well. Lynn says, oh, it's half past seven at night there uh, in Australia. So that's not too bad a time, actually, is it? It's so hard getting the timing to suit Europe, America, or, um, you know, UK. I think it's only America. I think it's only America that will have to watch this on YouTube after. Chris is going to use gilding flakes. That's a really good idea. Jenny suggested that the other day. So, yeah, gilding flakes are fine. You can use those as well. So these were the big butterfly dies because in the original layout I had clocks because that's what we had in our kit. You ladies that did the kit would remember. We had the big clocks. Okay, we die cut those out. But I thought this is where I want to show you that with your page sketch you can do the same layout with different papers and make it look totally different. Okay. Oh, we've got Dominique. She's from Australia as well. That's brilliant. So Karen says, using glue dots and foil. Oh, that could be interesting. Anyway, so this was the layout. So I thought this time I'm going to do a more feminine layout. So give it a twist. And this is where the sketches are a base and you go from it. So I've got this lovely picture of my daughter. My father-in-law took this picture of Lauren in the garden. She must have been, I want to say about six. She was probably about six. I'm going to check the date and then I'll put that on my journaling. But she was in the garden playing and she whizzed around and my father-in-law took this picture with her hair blowing everywhere. Well, you might notice my little daughter, she's got a, or not just a little daughter now, she's now... um. 22 coming up she's got a birthmark on her neck and it's in the shape of a butterfly and we've always said that she's got a butterfly to look after her so that's why i've picked these big butterfly dies this time to use these are new butterfly dies out from crafter's companion they're from their range from nature's garden and you actually get three on here so you get your solid you get your medium and then your top so you get three that you can layer up to do your big butterflies. But I'm going to be using them singularly. Okay, so that's the dies I'm going to be using. So I've got my papers already. So we've all got our papers and trimmers ready and we will make a start. So I'm going to look at the back. It says here you need a 12 by 12 piece of card and you're going to gut in at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. So, I'm just wondering what colour to go for here. I'm wondering whether to go for the dark on the outside and then the paler colours on the inside. I think the dark might show it up a bit better. Or we could go really pink pink to match in with the dress. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. It's no good me making decisions. Right, what colour shall I go for? I bet all you ladies have sorted out your papers already, haven't you? I've got everything out and then I still haven't made a decision because I was busy doing other stuff yesterday. <laughs> Paperwork stuff, boring stuff. Right, I think... I think I'm going to go for the dark green on the edge. Okay, so... Susan says she likes the dark. Right, I'm going with you, Susan. We're going dark. Right, so paper trimmers. I'm hoping you've all got your trimmers like this. Either this one or your stamping up one. You need a trimmer that has got a blade that allows you to gut. So any anyone turned up today that doesn't know how to gut. 
Are we all there? We all know how to gut? Yes. We've all got thumbs up for gutting. Brilliant. So if you get your dark, now the first thing you need to check if you're using cardstock is check that it is 12 by 12 because some cardstock has a border on. And mine is 12 by 12, so I'm okay there. So I don't need to trim the border strip off. But we're going to gut in at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. So to do that, if you move your paper over to the three quarters of an inch on this side, pop it down, bring your blade down to three quarters of an inch, and then run up. Okay. I always, I don't do the exact measurement at the top because I'm going to keep turning. If you turn clockwise, okay, and do exactly the same again. So you're going to follow the same thing. So start down here at three quarters of an inch and go up. And if you keep turning it clockwise, it will meet up with itself. Okay. It's all gone quiet. No chatting. So I take it that you're all gutting. Okay. So you've got your three quarters of an inch on each side. I've buffed up the paper there and then just pull that piece out there and pull that piece out there okay so I'm going to pop this to one side Maxine's joined us I know you're just popping in Maxine for a quick chat because Maxine's painting this morning so you be careful up that ladder um I froze on you right let me just check I think it might be my son watching a movie on the internet so hang fire I'm just gonna have a word out the door Right, I'm back with you ladies. Right, fingers crossed it shouldn't buffer because no one else is on it apart from my husband working. So, right, are we all there yet? Yeah. Susan says she's looking for, you're going to get your first, Susan's referring to a class that I run in Edwinstow on the last Thursday and the last Sunday of the month. And I've just finished the layout, Susan, so you'll be looking forward to getting your papers for that. Jean's giving me a thumbs up, so she's all, she's all done that bit. Right, so that's the first bit. If you look back at your page sketch, then your pattern paper, okay, you need to cut to 11 by 11. Now, my pattern paper has got a pattern all the way around. So rather than cutting this right in and taking an inch of two sides. If your paper is such that you could take an inch off one side and an inch off the other side, please do. Mine isn't, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim mine down and I'm going to take half an inch off all my sides. Okay, so, so I'm going to do four cuts. The rest of you, you may do just two cuts. So I'm going to take half an inch off there so your your piece on the top your pattern paper is going to be measuring 11 inches by 11 inches okay I don't know why the internet is dipping in and out today because it shouldn't do and being a nice day I'd have thought majority of people around and about would be out but now I've forgotten which way I'm turning now. So I do apologise if it does. I'm not quite sure why, because all systems are fine here. And we have quite a strong internet because my husband works from home. That's what he does, builds websites. So um, we have sort of a business line one. So I've cut mine off of strips. And you know me, I'm not going to throw those away. I'll keep those. So I've got this already here. 
So you should have this piece and your other piece. Okay? Now, if you look at your sketch, oh, Catherine, that's nice. You say it's because I'm too popular. <laughs> I don't think, but I would like to hope so, but you never know. So if you look at your picture where I've got 11 by 11, I've actually put on there gut um, a 6 by 4 for your photograph. I've actually got on there gut a 6 by 4 for your photograph. You don't need to do this at home now. The ladies actually did it in my class because the layout that we did here, we got three. I worked them really hard that month. We did three layouts in one class. So this cream card was for the next layout. So you don't have to worry about that. So you can admit that. If you feel you want to gut it, go ahead. But I'm not going to. So I'm now going to get this stuck onto there. So you've got that nice border all the way round. Now a little top tip, because you've only got a thin piece where it's going to join a good idea is to actually put a thin bead of glue or tape on your reverse and then attach it personally i like wet glue because it gives me a little bit of a wiggle room and you know i like my color out because it rubs away if it gets on your card and paper so that's what i'm going to use so i'm going as thin as i can now what you can do with your color I left the lid off last night, which was a bit silly of me. So what you can do is to get a thinner piece of glue, wind your nozzle in a bit. Okay. And this is where you're all going to go really quiet. And I'm going to go quiet because I'm trying to concentrate as well on my thin bead of glue. Which looks a bit wibbly wobbly at the moment. <laughs> right. I think I've got glue around on all there. You'll see that I'm using double-sided paper. Again, this is from um, the new collection. It's from Nature's Garden, the Butterflies, the beautiful Butterflies collection. So it's quite nice paper. Okay. Are we still getting any buffering, ladies? Let me know, because what I might do is turn my mobile data on if I can. Oh, I don't think I can do it while I'm filming, but I could have done, but never mind. We'll be fine. So if you've got a little bit of glue, like I've just done on this top corner, if you wipe it with your finger, it will wipe away clearly. Okay. So that's all ready to go. So we're at that stage now. So Heather said she can't find the end. Are you using double-sided tape, Heather? I hope you are, because I'm wondering what you're saying there. <laughs> right, got my photograph. I'm not going to mat and layer that yet. Well, yes, let's mat and layer that. Let's do that bit next. So... I think I'm going to go in, I'm going to bring my colours in and see what works nicely. Yeah, we're all at that stage. Who's, la who's laughing? I think you're laughing at, at um, Heather and her, she can't find her end. I'm presuming that is off her double-sided tape. Jo can't write a, a comment on a computer but thinks she's going to have to catch up later. Not a problem, Jo, you can catch up later. It's fine. You can join in with the chat. It's absolutely fine. The setup I've got here is I record on my phone and I've got ahead of you here. I've got my iPad set up so I can see all your lovely comments. So I can see what you're talking about at the same time, which is quite nice. I think I'm going to go with that colour combination rather than that way around. Yes, I think it needs to be green first and then pink. So that's what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do, Wendy's joined us. I know Wendy's already had a go at this. She printed off her page sketch and she's already had a play. But lovely that you can join in with the chat, Wendy. 
So I'm going to stick my photo in the corner and I like to give an eighth of an inch all the way around. So rule of thumb is if your photo, hi Nicole, if your photo is six by four, your first mat is going to be six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So if you feel you want to actually cut your mats and then stick it down, you can. Or if you've got a trimmer like this one, or like the Stampin' Up one, you can do it cheats way. So if I show you where this line is of your photograph, if you line it up, with the clear plastic of your trimmer which is there you get your eighth of an inch okay so that's the way to do it Jo says she didn't bother gutting her dark card it's absolutely fine you don't need to Jo it's when I did the class originally with these page sketches as I say we did three layouts in one and that's why we utilise as much as possible. You don't have to gut. This is where it's your personal choice. Absolutely fine. The nice thing about sometimes about gutting your paper is, let me just snip that off there, is if I whip this over on the other side, can you see I've got another layout in the makings getting started there. So it's quite nice that you can actually do a second layout on the back, particularly if you're using pocket protector pages. You can get two layouts for the price of one. So that's going to be my first layer, and then I'm going to do it again in the pink. Are you all matting and layering yours? Yes, I did work you hard that day. Catherine remembers that class. I did. I do a three-hour scrapbooking class, and we always do two layouts well on that day i was a bit mean i made them do three layouts <laughs> these colors are beautiful aren't they Jean? yes they are good colors so yes the poor ladies that did my class that day i did work them quite hard <laughs> but we had fun you enjoy it <laughs> that's why you come <laughs> we do have fun at our classes so I'm now going to do exactly the same again with this one. That might as well go all the way along. Okay. But this is what I want to show you. We do these page sketches in a class and the ladies have a kit. But I keep all my page sketches afterwards in a folder. Because remember that every time you use a page sketch, if you just change, as I say, the colour combination it can look totally different so if i bring in my original just while everyone's catching up okay if you i look at the original it looks totally different what susan's saying yes and i've color coordinated my nails today that was a bit of a fluke actually That was a bit of a fluke on my colours, I must say, Susan. I painted them after doing the garden in the weekend and I thought, oh, let's have something bright. So it actually matches, look, my T-shirt as well. My T-shirt's the same colour today. So <laughs> I'm being all colour coordinated. So I'm going to pop that to one side. And before we start doing a bit of the um, technique with the foil, <laughs> I'm going to die cut some of my butterflies out ready. So this was one I did a test run of. Can you see how beautiful that's looking? Now, when you're doing scrapbooking, it's a bit like flower make or floristry. They say go in a rule of threes. When things are of an odd number, they're kind of on the eye. Apparently, it's to do with the brain. The science behind it. But there we go. I just thought I'd blind you with a bit of science there. So... I'm going to take my butterfly and I think actually because my pattern paper is quite busy and I'm going to put foil in, I'm going to do three of the skeleton type. OK, so I've got that option. So Emma's joined in. Hi, Emma. I hope the kids are being good for you today. Is that a yes? No? Indifferent? So I can die cut one straight on there. So I'm going to just use my Gemini Junior today for this. 
So popping that on there. Get one of these die cut through. Excuse the noise of my machine. And I'm just trimming up my paper so I can cut the other two. I'm going to go one each colour, I think, just to bring a bit of difference in. Oh, there we go. So, so let's have a look and see what this one die cut out like. Oh, look, look at that. Like a knife through butter. Absolutely beautiful. So, this is where a layout like this is quite good to use. Um, I'm going to have pink all over my floor now, but my craft room floor did need a, a good hoover. Look at that. I'm just flicking those out. That's beautiful. So let me clean that die. Give it a little bash. And the die cut the next one. Turn that over. So you need whatever die you've picked. You need three. Okay. So what dies have ladies picked? I've got butterflies to go with my layout. What other dies have we got going on? The other lay the other die that I thought of using was I've got a big I've got quite a big balloon die. I was thinking about that one as well, but I thought no butterflies go with my my little girl. My big little girl, so that's why I thought I'd use this one. So as you can see, die cut out lovely again. Oh, Heather's using delicate floral hearts. Oh, I wonder what your photo's like, Heather. This is another thing, ladies, that I haven't spoken about. When you've finished your layouts, please, please do share them. If you go to my Dawn's Inspirations Facebook page under albums, you will actually see that I have um, created an album for each page sketch so we're on week three now i just thought i'd do this weekly while we're on lockdown as they say um where did my other piece of paper go green one um i thought i'd do these weekly while we're on lockdown because it's quite nice for everybody to keep busy do a bit of crafting and forget about what's going on in the big wild world outside at the moment and it's uh, i don't know about anybody else when i'm in here shut away naturally to you guys I really enjoy it. It's just my way of forgetting about what's going on in the in the news. So, um, so yes, and I hope you are all enjoying that too. So please, please share your pictures. So if you go to my Dawn's Inspirations page, while I'm just doing this, if you go to my Dawn's Inspirations page, you'll see a bar where I've got things like photos, events, that type of thing. You'll see there's two spots you can actually upload your pictures to. There's one that says posts and one that says community. If you press on that, you'll get like a normal um, post that you put on Facebook. Okay. Catherine, yes. The... Catherine says the butterflies in the old clock will all become clearer. Oh, Oh, is that, oh, are you using a mixture, Catherine? It sounds like it. Yes, so if you go to community or to posts and you press on that, you'll get up what comes up like a normal Facebook post, like if you were writing a post on your timeline. Okay, just upload your picture to there, write a few words about it. Okay, and then what I can then do is, when you post it, you won't see it on my page. I then get a notification and I can then move it to my main page. What I think I might do is after this, I might do a quick video um, just to show you how to do that. Because I know some of you were getting in a bit of a muddle where to share it. But this 
the page sketches and the video and the live I'm doing here is all to do with Dawn's Inspirations, okay? So it's not to do with any of the other clubs that I run. It's not to do with the scrapbook club I ran at the end of the month. It's nothing to do with Edwin Stowe Scrappers either. This is just Dawn's Inspirations, okay? So like you went to my website to get your page sketch downloads, same thing applies, okay? So I think we should be all there. I know Jean's watching on her big computer today. So she messaged me this morning. I've had a few messages with Heather as well. So I did. I have been looking at Switcher, Heather, to try and do two phones to film. So Because I quite like to talk to you like I do on the supply list video. But I've been looking into it and it's going to work out. I've got to pay for a subscription. I don't want to be paying for anything at the moment. Because I'm doing all this for you for... For, for absolutely nothing, for the love of just sharing with you all and hoping you're all enjoying it. So there's my butterflies done. So let's move all the rubbish out of the way. And we can start a bit of foiling. So, are you all still with me? Oh, sunflower. Karen's using a sunflower. A sunflower doily. That sounds interesting. Right, I'm just going to bash the bits out here. Are we all up to speed? So we've got our gutting and our paper done and our three die cuts done, yeah? Are we all there? Yeah. Yeah, Heather says she's found that on Switcher. Jean's having a problem. It cr keeps crashing. Right, Jean's computer keeps crashing, so I'm on her phone now. That's okay, Jean. You can watch it on the phone. But don't worry if you can't do it along with me. As I say, I'll be. it will be here on the page, and it will also be over on YouTube. After this, I'll get it uploaded to YouTube. And that is the nice thing about it, because, like, the ladies in America can't join in now, so they'll join in tonight. So, I've got all those ready. So now I'm going to look at the foiling. So who got themselves a Pritt stick or found one of the kids Pritt sticky glue type things they're going to use? If you're going to use gilding flakes, you're going to need your special glue for your gilding flakes as well. But I'm using my glue for this. So what I'm going to do, oh, I haven't pushed any of these out of here. Are we all, you're on a time delay to me because I'm talking to you, but I'm watching you on my ipad on face on facebook so i can see the delay so it's not a problem not a problem at all right we're all we're all keeping up are we right now what i have got to work out is what folk what butterfly i'm putting where so i think i'm going to pop the green one under there I might have that one there and that one there. So when I'm putting my foil on here, I only need to put foil on this side of it. This is why I was looking at this, okay? Because I'm going to put pink wording down here. So I'm going to have my green butterfly here. So let's do a bit of foiling. So I'm going to take my main page away. I'm going to start off with my butterflies. So I've got a bit of scrap white here right so what i want you to do if you're doing your gilding with your foil is if you get your prit stick and just put some glue now it doesn't have to be perfect we're not covering this solidly if you look from the original we're not covering this solidly we're going for this sort of more um distress sort of worn look so this is what we're aiming at. So that's why I'm just going to put, I'm not going all solid, I'm just putting bits. And then I think on that colour, I'm going to go for a bit of this darker pink that I've got left. This is right, look, right at the end of the roll. Right at the end of the roll. And then if you lay that across, Lay that on there and then just let that just rest for a bit. You just need time for the glue to actually stick to the back of your foil. 
Okay, so that's one. Now I've got these two to do. And I'm going to do the same again. So I'm not going solidly. I'm just doing random bits. So I think I'm going to go pink on this one. And I'm going to cut this one in half. Okay, are, are lots of you managing to get into your craft rooms while lockdown's on? I know the weather has been absolutely stunning, so it's nice to get out in the garden as well. I did do gardening the weekend, and I played a bit of tennis with the kids. Well, I say the kids, they're 19 or 22, so played a bit of t tennis in the garden. And I must say, the next day, I knew about it. Right, so Kate is using um, the gilding. Gilding and embossing flakes. So have you got a special glue for that one then, Katie? I must say I've never used gilding flakes. So I'm just leaving these just for a minute for the glue to adhere. Okay. And then I'm going in with my last one. And I'm not looking for a perfect coverage. OK, so don't be worried that you haven't got a perfect coverage because that is not what we're after. It's just adding that suggestion. Now, if you haven't got gilding flakes and you still want to join in, that is absolutely fine as well. What I said you could use is some acrylic paint and a dry brush and do a dry br brush technique. OK, that's another good way of doing it. You could do a dry brush and your distress inks as well. So there's lots of different ways around it. Okay. Um, right, Kate is saying, she, ha um, I have no gilding or embossing flakes. Is there something else I can do? Yes, this is what I'm just mentioning, Katie. So... Let me find my big dry brush. I had one here, didn't I? I had my, all my bits out yesterday to show you. So let me grab this one. Right. So if you've got a big brush like this, okay. Mm. Right. Mm. Oh, someone sprained their ankle playing with the kids. Mm. So that's a bit hard, isn't it? Mm. And I apologise if you can hear a noise. It's my 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 dad's phoning me. <laughs> my dad's in a care home down in Devon um, at the moment. And my sister goes in to do the residence hair on a Wednesday. And my dad's just decided to ring me. Because I rang him the other day and he, he's been a bit naughty and he's not been answering his phone. So he's just decided to call me. But he'll have to wait. I'll ring him back after. So I'm going to leave those to dry. So Kate is asking what else she could do. Yeah, I, I, I survived. I didn't sprain my ankle, Joe, but I must say the next day I knew what I'd done. So it was, <laughs> I'm not as young as I used to be. Right, so what you could do, Katie, is this is just, mm -hmm. I'm just using a Distress Oxide. You could use any ink pads you've got or some paint is another thing you could use. Okay, and I'm just going to find a bit of kitchen paper. So this is if you haven't got any gilding flakes and you want to do a technique. And if I bring my white one in, and then what you can do is you can just do a dry brush technique so you've not got it all the way over. As I say, you've got that suggestion. So it's just taking the plainness off the cardstock. I don't know if I hold it up to the camera. I think, can you see that there, Katie? So it's just giving that suggestion. So just with a brush rather than your ink tool. Look look how lovely that looks as a stencil. Oh, wow. You see, you could do that as well, Katie. You could stencil. So, yes, just that suggestion. If I try and put it on a different, let me put it on a different colour. Perhaps that might show it up a bit more. Can you see you've got that just that suggestion of colour rather than having it all plain? So I'm hoping that you can see that there. OK. Oh, 
Oh. So there we go. Okay. So that's something else you could do. So we've done our dies or our embellishment bits. But now I wanted to add just a little bit to the actual page itself. Let me pop all this to one side. So I'm going to go in again with a bit of foiling. Let me move these out of the way so you can see. Now I've got pattern paper here all the way round. But on the original we didn't. We went for a more distressed look. So I've just done a suggestion in the corners to take the plainness off of the paper. Even though the paper's got all the letters in the background, it just takes that plainness off. So when I do my scrapbook classes each month and the girls have a kit, we try and bring in different techniques each time. So there you go. You can see my, my dad. That's my dad. Bless him. That's who was trying to call me. So I call him afterwards. And that's my dear daughter. That's, that's what she looks like now. A bit different to then. Well, not so much, really, I suppose. So we're going to just do a little bit of a suggestion in the corner as well. All right. So I'm thinking the green isn't going to show up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it. I don't know whether it'll work. I'm going to use a bit of this because this looks quite fun, this one. Can you see I'm using all the ends of the rolls of my foil? See, use all your little scraps up. This is why I wanted to do this, because the sketches are there. I do them in class. Let's share them. And it just shows you when you're actually using different papers and things that you've got at home, they look so totally different. I'm move my photo out of the way. So I'm going for... I'm going to move it around, actually. It's got butterflies in that corner. I'm going to go for these two corners. Okay. Right, it's going to go for these two corners. So I'm going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going in with my glue and I'm doing that heart. I'm just sort of, I'm using the edge. So I'm just getting that suggestion. So you again, if you, you haven't got anything like this, for this part, you could use, say, your Spectrum Mask Sparkle Pens. Or you could do the dry brushing. Okay. I'm not wanting it very heavy on this layout. When I did the layout of my dad with Lauren, that was a more distressed old look because it was for a man's page. This technique is also good for cards, men's cards. So something to think about for your cards as well. So I'm just going to push that on there. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and then just push that right into the glue because I'm going to leave it a minute just to set. OK, so that's that. And if I bring the butterflies in as well, and I'm just going to leave all this to set while we concentrate on the title. Because when you're doing it like this, the gilding flakes, I think, are quite instant. You don't need to worry so much. But this technique with the Pritt stick, you do just need it to lit like literally have a little set. You can see where it's sticking to the wings on that one now. If I hold that up to the camera, can you see there where it's starting to stick onto there? So let's bring that down on there. And again over on there so i'm going to leave those to one side got my photo and now i'm going to concentrate on my title so as i said the title you can do in several different ways i'm going for stickers because i've got these beautiful stickers here that brand new packet i've never ever used so and they're nice and pink and sparkly so that's what i'm going for okay so you could go for anything you like. Now you could just stick your stickers straight onto your um, page. No trouble at all. Okay. But sometimes it's quite nice to mount them up and just so they look a little bit different. So I'm going to mat and layer mine. Um, I might just go directly. That's going to be far too small. That's a... Uh, so these are just punches. I've got, again, stuff from my crafty stash. Stuff I've always got there. I think that is going to be far too small. 
and I think that might be a little bit plain but let's have a little look so if I'm going for pink I think I'm going to go for a bit of this green and let's have a look and see what that looks like so all I'm doing is cutting a square now I'm using squares you could use anything that you've got in your crafty stash not a problem at all okay so this is where the choice is entirely yours now actually look at that on there what we're we thinking are we liking that now do you think i need to put a pink round the border i'm wondering if it might be let's take this off i'm wondering if it might be a bit too fussy It might be a bit too fussy. I think I'm going to keep it plain like that with that, with the pink. So I'm going for that, I think. Small, medium and big. <laughs> I'm just reading Sue's comment. So I'm going to do the word beautiful. So I'm going to get my words started. If you were die cutting your words, all I've done here is I've punched out a square. If you haven't got punches... Get your paper trimmer and just do a square. And this little square I'm using is about an inch square. Okay, so this is the sort of thing you could do. So this is just different ways of doing your title. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this out because I'm going to spell beautiful. Because she is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, Peter's joined in as well. Hi, Pete. I've been watching your Facebook lives. It's nice to get everybody crafting, isn't it? And having some fun and forgetting about what's going on in the world at the moment. Oh, am I going to get one out of there? No, I'm not. I'm going to have to come round the edge. I've also enjoyed the fact with this is I'm going through my crafty stash. I had a couple of messages yesterday from a couple of you. I'm not mentioning any names. So and they've enjoyed going through their crafty stash and finding the when I do my supply list video, finding their supplies, and it's amazing what you've got hidden away that you haven't used for ages. I know you're all the same. You're all like me. Keep far too much stuff. So uh, it's nice to use what we've got. And imagine how much money we're saving. So when this is all over. And we get out to those craft shows, we get, we'll have so much more to spend because we'd have saved so much money. <gasps> It'll be amazing. So, now I know Susan's looking, she's, she's a new lady to my scrapbooking class. I, the class I do that I send the kits out to, that is for the end of the month. And I've just finished the layouts on that. And I don't think you're going to be disappointed at all. So I think you're going to have fun with that. And I've really treated you this time because we normally do two pages, Susan. And you will do your two pages with my video tutorial step by step. However, you've got enough in your kit to do four. So you're going to have enough to keep you going. And then fingers crossed in May, we might actually be able to get together for a class. Let's just see what happens. But at the moment, I don't know about anybody else. I'd rather stay safe a bit longer um, and do it now rather than they say, right, everybody can go out and then we've all got to go on lockdown again. Now, you're all, there's no comments coming up and there's no hearts or thumbs up. So I take it you're all being busy with your titles. Is that a yes? Yes. We've got love hearts coming across now. You're all keeping busy with the titles. I'm so looking forward to seeing these layouts when they're finished. Right, where am I? Um, beautiful. I need a... I thought I just did a U. Yes, I need another one, Dawn. Sometimes this is the hardest bit of scrapbooking, is sorting the titles out. Heather says, yep. Yeah, that's nice. I'm getting kisses from Heather as well. Thank you, Heather. That's cheering me up. And I need a l. It's also nice. I've got stacks and stacks of photographs. And I'm waiting for another delivery to come today.
to get them printed off. Now, I've said this before on Facebook Live. This is where I get mine from, free print. I know there's several other companies that do it. And it's so easy to do directly from your phone. Take your pictures, press click, click, click. And then all you pay is your delivery, which I think is about three forty nine, three ninety nine. But lots of companies do it. I think Snapfish do the same thing. True Print do the same thing. And they just arrive through the post every month. It's brilliant. So, I've got my title ready. I need a little tag for journaling. So, I'm wondering... I think I'm going to have a pink tag this time. So, I'm going to use my tag punch. My Stampin' Up! tag punch. My go-to that I use a lot, as a lot of you will know. Um, so if you haven't got one of these, it's well worth getting hold of one. I think a lot of my scrapbooking ladies would agree totally with that. So it's a nice decorative punch. Great for card making, scrapbooking. And you can also use it to make your own tags for things like Christmas and birthday presents as well so i'm just going to do a little tag there that's my tag punch so i'm going to pop that there i only want a little tag and then on my tag i'm going to do the journaling on the back and i'm going to sort out i'm going to go on the computer and find out the date that photograph was done Oh, Julie was just answering the door. I hope it was social distance answering the door, Julie. And she says, yes, get your tag punch. Yes, they're really useful, aren't they, Julie? One of those go-tos. If someone said to me, what would be your 20 things you'd have in your craft bag? I think this would definitely be one of them. So, so if anybody needs to get hold of one, I know a couple of Stampin' Up! demonstrator ladies that I can put you in touch with. So, there we go. So that's there ready and I could even corner around the edges of that while everyone's just catching up now look at that how about making little tags like that to um oh she had a parcel on the front on the doorstep oh a nice parcel I hope Julie cool that'd be good right I think I'm ready now to start assembling and we'll have a look and see what this foil has been doing so I'm going to bring over my butterflies let's have a look and see if I've got a nice just a, a touch of foil going on this should be dry enough oh yes look I've just got that accent of foil not too much but just enough Let's do another one. And the thing is, don't throw this foil away because can you see, you can reuse that again. So let me take this off here. I could have probably left mine to dry a little bit longer, but can you see there's just that suggestion. It's all I want is just that little suggestion of foil. So I'm happy with how those have come out. Let's see how this one's come out. Oh, yes. I could have probably gone in with doing a bit more if I wanted. Oh, and I've just noticed one of those hasn't come out. Come out of there. I could have probably gone in with doing it just a little bit more. And in fact, while I'm going to do my page, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just add a little bit more on. Okay. I'm going to put a bit more green. I'm going to put a bit of green down the body. Sue says she's got another catch up with the WIs going on. The WI ladies. Oh, Chris is part of your WI ladies, isn't she, as well? So have you been doing that on Facebook as well? I think the internet has been absolutely marvellous at the moment for people catching up. I'm just going to add a little bit more on there. I think that one's fine. So now let's have a look at my main page and see how that is looking. Let's see how this has come out. Oh, look. There you go. Look, if I hold that up to the camera. And you see, you've just got that nice little suggestion going on. 
and you've still got enough on there you could use that again oh let's pull that piece off there what we're we thinking to that we're we having thumbs up oh you've been doing zoom on wi oh chris um joe was on about doing zoom with um edwin stowe scrappers because you know there's a few of the edwin stowe scrapper ladies that are on their own at the moment she was on about doing a zoom could you arrange that chris with the edwin stowe scrapper ladies because that might be quite nice before our next um get together I'm giving you a job, Chris. <laughs> so Kerry's saying that's fabulous. She hasn't seen that done before. This is the thing, Kerry. We we buy all these bits and we have these bits left over. And it is quite nice to use them in a different way. So look, it is just nice to add just that little bit of suggestion. Okay, you don't necessarily need a full-in foil. But it's just got that suggestion on it, which looks lovely. So let's start assembling our page. Because I think we're done. So I'm just going to sort out my colours. Because I think I'm going to have my butterflies quite free flowing. And I'm going to pop that one under there like that and then I should have enough room for my title along there right so I'm going to go in with a bit of tacky glue I think to add these mm -hmm. I'm going to keep them flowing quite freely mm -hmm. so I'm going to go in with just mm -hmm. some of my butterfly at the moment mm -hmm. okay so I'm just going to bring that in there and I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand so Chris is saying yes you could do that everyone needs to download it first yes you're right Chris so perhaps we ought to put a post on Edwin Stowe Scrappers and get some of the ladies to download Zoom and don't they have to give you their email addresses as well to do this I think they do don't they so yes I think we could do it don't you Chris so I'm going to pop I'm just thinking where I'm going to put my tag because my layout's quite big this time. I might, I might have to have my tag coming out from under my photograph. So I'm just going to pop my photograph flat. You could 3D if you wish with your foam pads or your 3D glue gel. So and I'm just going to do the butterfly up here as well so oh that needs to come over a bit otherwise it won't go my page protector they look beautiful and these are big butterflies so it is quite nice now i'm just going to make sure my title is going to fit now Oh, I might have to come across here for my title, but that'd be fine. That's fine. And I'm going to do those randomly. So that's fine. And I'm going to bring that butterfly about there. So are we all keeping up? Are we sticking down or are we just watching and you're going to stick down when I've uh, finished and watch the video again? Who's keeping up with me? Give me some thumbs up. Joe says, well done, Chris. Yeah, Joe... Joe, Chris is going to be on the case and organising Edwin Stowe Scrapper's Zoom. That would be absolutely fantastic. We could probably have a go this Sunday, couldn't we? Because we, we might be scrapping this Sunday. Um, Carol's coming back later because she needs to give her daughter a shopping list. Fantastic. Karen's watching because she's going to do it later. Not a, not a problem at all. Heather. Me just, you're keeping up, are you, Heather? Well, I'm on the last stretch now, so literally I've added my big bits and my title, my bits, and I'm just going to add my title now, and I'm going to do it quite randomly. Even though they're squares, don't feel you've got to do it all together. So I'm just using some 3D glue gel, and I'm just putting a little blob under there. 
and popping them on there. So you ladies that are watching, and you're going to do it later, please, please, can you share me your pictures after? Because that would be absolutely great. Oh, Kate is doing some stenciling with her tin holes to stress inks. That's good. Chris is a little bit behind. Not to worry. Not to worry. And Karen says, I know what she's like. She's doing her fluffy bits. Yeah, I know what you're like, Karen. I know you well enough now, but it's not to worry. This is the thing. It's just a bit of fun. If you want to join in and just have the natter, that's perfect. The video is there for you to watch again and again, which is what it's all about. So if you don't get to see it now, you can watch it over on my YouTube channel later. No problems at all. But I must say, I've been absolutely thrilled... I'm thinking, have I spelt that correctly now? Um, I'm doing beautiful and I'm thinking I've got a bit round the wrong way. <laughs> so the nice thing is that you can watch it again and again. Last week's one, which was page sketch two, I've got 20 photographs of your layouts that have come in. And if you go to the photo section on my Facebook page, and open it up, you can see everybody's layout with the same sketch. And I must say, when you look at them like that, it is absolutely amazing. Because they are all so different because you've used different papers, different embellishments. Because you're using what you've got in your crafty stash. And that's what it's all about. So that's why it's quite nice. Oh. Anne says she's been using modelling paste. So have you been having a go at some different crafts, Anne? Or are you going to use a bit of modelling paste on this layout? Do share what you're up to, because I love to see. So I think... I'm just going to bring those wings up a little bit. I think that's about done. And if anything, I could put perhaps... I've got a little, few little... They're called um, Ice Gems. I could pop them on there. This tag I might end up putting behind because I think that's going to be a bit overpowering there. I could foil the edges and write on there. I will, I'm will. i going to do that after. So Ellen says she's used stickers because she can't 